Okay, this is run number three, uh, video number two didn't come out right, no sound. So this is number three, we'll run it again. Uh, it, it actually seems like it's trying to start if I run it at a low speed. I'm all, I've only got two one-inch rollers on this, one at each end on the uh, rotor. The outside has got the three-quarter inch uh, right hand twisted uh, kneels on there and in between I got 14 high of the eighth inch thick ferrites in between and I'm, the only difference between this and the other ones besides running it on the inside is I've got the spacing between the the stator magnets spaced about an inch and three quarter inches apart which is works very good or should with the one inch mags and apparently the aluminum rim here has uh, moved itself over a bit it's doing a little scraping I'm, uh, I'm running some pretty close tolerances on this but we'll see what if she does again Maximum speed on this is if I run it wide open is around 475 to 500 rpm if I crank it wide open because I got the drill set on um, low speed or low gear I should say. But uh, normal running speed on this I've had it at around three around 400 rpm 350. But let's see what it does. on this thing no one-way clutch that if this thing would happen to uh, jam up or fly apart or take off on its own this drill is not gonna stop so uh, if something would jam up 
there's no way of the thing to just override the drill. I mean, it's whatever the drill does. That's whatever. That's what goes on down there. So I've got to come up with something for that. But here, I got one one inch there on the outside. It's, some, it all seems to have moved over to this corner here. Things are getting awfully tight over there. Doing some scraping. There's the other one. These are just wooden blocks I've got underneath to hold, uh, keep the aluminum from opening or closing. And there's the adjusting nut for the Neos, one inch. Yeah, those are just, I believe I got those right hand. Those are right hand twisted Neos to three quarter inch on the uh, Statter. Those are the one inch, the one inch. You can only clock those things, there's two of them stacked. You can only clock those things 90 degrees. But everything turns. Uh, they rotate. But yeah, at low speeds it actually sounds like it's trying to start. It'll speed up just a little, if ever so little, and then it'll slow back down again like it's trying to do something. So that's as far as I've gotten with this thing. Uh, need to put on some more. All those three quarters there, they have to be put back uh, in the shape. Uh, they've all broken loose from the last project. And I've got a bunch of one inchers that just will not come apart for some reason. Those things, you can drop them and bang them around and they just don't seem to come apart. Like compared to these three quarter inch. Yeah, this is just tape. I really don't, it's just to hold the, uh, the ferrites in here. Yeah, i got 14 high on here. But anyway, I've got those stacked around there. This is more or less just to snug it up against the... Uh, the drum here or the wheel and I've got that one oddball you have to look at the other video to get a little more closer description out of it but that's where we're at I'll have to see what progresses after this